Hi folks, Happy New Year. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to compare values across different years. So I have, uh, I'm just going to increase the size in this. 60. So we have a straight table. I'm going to go into properties of the straight table. I'm going to add in, I'm going to actually add three expressions. They're all going to be called uh, the same. Some profit. Add another one called some profit. This will all make sense in a second. I'm add a total and call it some profit. So we basically we have our three expressions. In the first expressions, we're going to say um, equals for the labels equals only year, which means it'll only give the year that you've selected. Um, and basically, you can see we've. 2010 and 2011 so if you select nothing it should come up blank um, and then the sum of profit I'm just going to go in here so we say the sum of profit and we're going to create a, um, some set analysis so we're going to say the sum of profit where the year is equal to and we're going to create another set Um, we're going to use a dollar sign um, equal to, equals only year. So basically, that's it. Sum where the year is, what year is selected, and you want the profit for that year. Um, the second one we're going to say equals only year close your parentheses minus one and for the we're going to copy the expression from the only year from the force expression I'm going to paste it in here and then we're going to go in and just after a year we're going to say minus one so it's going to give you the selected year whatever you've uh, selected on it's going to give you the previous year the final one is for the label is only year and versus so that's I'm just going to go into this And only year minus one. And finally, what we're going to do is copy the expression for the first one. So, copy that, paste. I'm going to say minus second expression paste so it should look some of the selected years profit minus some of the selected year minus one profit so the previous year at the moment you can see there's nothing selected so if I select 2010 we should get all of 2010's information and obviously 2009 is blank because we have we don't have any information for 2009 I'm just going to go into properties and go into visual cues. So anything upper than zero is green, anything lower than zero is red. Oops, wrong one. This is for the variance. Um, zero, zero. And if we select 2011, you can see we have the numbers for 2011 and 2010 is the previous year and then the difference between each year. That's pretty much it. Um, I hope that helps and I'll see you next video.